Hi, Jordan with Caster HQ. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a threaded stem caster in the bottom of a wooden leg. Now, this will work in any type of wooden furniture, whether it's a table, workbench, or uh, a chair, like you see in front of me. Now, we're going to drill a hole, and we're going to then insert the T-nut, and then we're going to thread the caster in. So I'm going to show you the easiest and most efficient process on how to do this. The following tools that you'll need to install these casters would just be a drill, a couple drill bits, the casters, the threaded stem casters, the matching T-nuts for the casters, like you see here, a hammer, so we can hammer these in after we drill the hole, and then something with a straight edge. So I'm gonna use this box of pins, but you can use a tape measure, or actually a ruler, or something with a straight edge. Uh, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna line up our straight edge, which I'm using a box, to each corner, and we're gonna mark the middle. So we're gonna go from one edge to the other, just like this. It might not look completely even on the camera. Okay, so we're gonna mark right in the middle where those two lines meet. As you can see here, we've marked our spots. So X marks the spot. This is gonna be dead center in the middle of each leg. And that's where we're gonna drill our first holes. So before we start drilling, I'm going to go ahead and discuss which drill bits I'm going to be using. Um, on this T-nut, this one actually has a outer diameter of this lip that goes inside of the chair uh, of about a 3 8 So I'm gonna start my holes with a quarter inch drill bit. You can use an, one, an eighth of an inch if you'd like. That way we don't just use the larger size and potentially crack the chair. And then after I drill the pilot holes, I'm gonna change the bit out to a 3 8 drill bit. And I want this to be extremely snug when I actually go to install the T-nut. So I'm gonna use a, dr a 3 8 drill bit. You could use a little bit larger drill bit, um, but I was, I'm gonna try and go as close as possible uh, to this piece right here. And when you hammer this in, these little teeth are going to bite down and it's going to stay very snug. So you really don't have to worry about this coming out. I just would rather be safe than sorry and wanna make sure that I get the tightest hole possible. Now to make sure you drill the right depth, what I'm doing is lining the stem of the caster up to the drill bit, and I'm going to pretty much match the length of the stem. I'm gonna go a little further down on the drill bit just to be safe, mark that spot, and you know, um, when you see this flush with the leg, that's when you can stop drilling and you know that you've drilled the correct length. I'm start drilling. Okay, so the first hole is drilled. I'm a little off center, but it's okay. Now that the pilot holes are drilled, I'm going to swap out to the 3 8 drill bit. We're gonna open this up a little bit more. Now that we've drilled the holes, they're not perfect. I didn't have the best drill bit, but they're acceptable. So we're gonna go ahead and get our T-nut and we're gonna hammer those directly into the legs. And as you can see, these are very, very flush. They barely fit into the hole. So let's go ahead and start hammering these and see if they go in. Okay, and that is sitting perfectly flush. We're gonna go ahead and put the rest of them in. Okay, now all the T-nuts are hammered in 
and the four prongs or the four spikes are now flush inside of the wood. So these are permanently installed. When you install these, don't stand the chair up like I have here. This is just for the video, uh, just so we can get a better view for you guys. Okay, now we're gonna go start threading the casters in. So these casters have a raceway right here that turns. So when we install these, we actually want to turn the raceway. So I will go ahead and demonstrate this for you. We're gonna insert that and we're going to turn the raceway on the bottom and that's going to allow these to thread in all the way. Okay, and these are hand tightened and that's about all you need to do because once you sit on this chair and use it, this will be able to rotate freely. So you won't have to worry about these coming unthreaded. Okay. okay, the casters are now installed in the chair. We actually used our Windsor Antique Spherical Ball Casters and they look very classy and they actually have a round wheel, extremely easy to rotate. What I like most about these wheels, uh, compared to other types of casters, is these are a spherical ball caster. When you sit on this chair, it's actually got, going to stay in place a lot easier. It's not going to be moving around on you until you release some of the weight or stand up a little bit, and then you're gonna be able to move the chair very easily. So. This is actually a good option if you wanna convert a dinette chair or a wooden chair like this one and use it as an office chair. That way you don't have to worry about the chair getting away from you, but at the same time, it's still fairly easy to roll. For this chair, I wanted to use some of our designer spherical ball casters. Um, the housing on this one is a called Windsor Antique, but we have this in brass, we have it in nickel, satin chrome, bright chrome, gold, um, and then this antique look as well. Now these round ball uh, casters or spherical wheels are going to allow the chair to really stay in place when you're using it. So it's really not going to be extremely easy to move around while there's weight on it. Now, if you want to move it around um, fairly easy, just release some of the weight and then you can kind of just move it around. Um, or you can just stand up and you can easily move this chair around. But these are great casters and wheels if you're going to be using this chair on day-to-day -day operation. Uh, like if your office chair or if it's a kitchen dinette chair and you want wheels on your dinette chair, these are great options uh, just because they're very sturdy and they're not going to run away on you. So it's gonna be a lot safer. Now, if you want casters, um, thread sim casters that you can adapt to a piece of uh, furniture or equipment and you want easier rollability, we do have a lot of options on our website. And I will actually post the links to our quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, and half inch stem casters with the correlated T nuts that match those casters as well. And you can kind of look around and see if you're interested in different styles. And there's also different weight capacities depending on your application. So hope this video helped. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you can, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks.